Welcome. What brings you to my office today? I want Zoom Lightning. Do you? Very nice. So, you're unhappy with your smile, or...? My teeth are too yellow. Okay, I can see that. Looks like some tetracycline staining. Well, why don't I offer you another healthy alternative to tooth whitening? Does that sound like a, like a good idea? Great. Alrighty. Right here we have a multitude of tooth whitening products that you can choose from. We have our toothpastes. We have our tooth whitening kit for the home, which actually might be a great alternative. I've used the middle one before. It didn't work. Okay. Well, what we have here is a tooth whitening home system. Um, it involves a custom tray, which you can uh, apply this solution to at night or during the day. And um, it offers some great results. Would you like to hear more about it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> but how does it work? Well, generally hydrogen peroxide breaks double bonds and eliminates discoloration. But this system we have here uses carbamide peroxide, which is a lower percentage, and it's at a lower risk. Um, basically what happens is it's gonna, it's gonna infiltrate the dentinal tubules, which is the part of, the, of your tooth underneath the enamel, and it's going to release the staining um, and open up space for the whitening material to eliminate the stains. Is that gonna hurt? Um, no, generally not. Um, there, there is a possibility for sensitivity. Um, How but, long is that going to last? Um, maybe a couple days, uh, but it's definitely not permanent. Okay, so. good. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about whitening trays. First, start with a cast. It should look something like this. The objective today is to trim the cast. We want to first eliminate the vestibule and then also the tongue space. The end result should be a cast in the horseshoe shape. We also want to make sure that the occlusal plane is parallel to the base of the cast. To accomplish this, we'll be using this nice machine right here. And this is what it should look like when you're done. After you've trimmed your cast, you want to apply blockout resin. You want to apply it to every single tooth in the arch making sure you're a millimeter away from the incisal edge and the gingival edge to prevent translucency in the incisal and gingival irritation. You want to make sure the thickness is about 0.5 to a millimeter thick, allowing for the resin to set on the tooth structure. Hello. Welcome. This next step is called the suck down technique. Begin with the stent. Remove the wax paper like so. Place it in the apparatus like so. Make sure your cast is evenly set on the base and apply heat like so. Make sure you have eye protection on. When you're done with your stent, try it onto your cast to make sure it fits well. When you cut the stent on the lingual side, you can go straight across like so. And on the buckle side, make sure you cut it along the gingival contour of each tooth. Welcome back. Thank you. What we have here are your whitening trays, custom made for your mouth. Yay! Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Here's your upper tray, and this is for the lower. Go ahead and try them in. These are my teeth? Yeah. They fit. That's the plan. So, basically what I want you to do is apply a little bit of this, and by a little bit I mean a drop, one time, one application per day, and it can be two to four hours, and I want you to leave that in your mouth for two to four hours during the day, or one time during the night while you sleep. So, so what teeth do I apply that to? Go ahead and smile for me. When you smile, the main teeth visible are your premolars, so I would... Which tooth is that on here? So I would apply it to the third to last tooth on each side. Okay. And then how long do I wear them for? You want to wear them for two to four hours during the day or one time during the night. And when will I see results? Um, nine out of ten people usually see results within two to six weeks. Oh, great.